Hey loves, how's it going? It's Anne, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a holiday edition packing tips and hacks that you can do when you're traveling. So this is geared toward more if you're traveling to somewhere that feels like winter, you know, it's cold, it's chilly. And if you're going somewhere that's tropical, I have so many other organizational packing videos that I will link uh, the playlist to at the bottom of this video. So check it out. I have super, super helpful videos for that. If you want to pack light and if you want to stay toasty, this video is for you. Let's go ahead and get started. If you will be traveling on long flights and car rides this holiday season, get yourself some compression stockings to help improve with blood flow and prevent you from swelling. You can get certain compression stockings for your arm, your legs, your thighs, and you can hide these under your clothes. Aside from keeping you cozy on your plane ride, this tip will help you save so much space in your luggage by layering up and wearing all your heavy clothing items like your coat. To layer, start with a tank top followed by a t-shirt. Then you can wrap a sweatshirt or wear a button up top over your t-shirt. Lastly, you want to wear your heaviest clothing item like your jacket or your coat. If you are someone who travels a lot, you should definitely pre-pack. This has helped me tremendously whenever I have a last minute flight or if I just don't have time to pack. Everything I need is already in here. As you can see with the toiletry bag, I put everything that I usually use at home into travel size containers and then I just leave them in my toiletry bag. I also have my makeup bag here of duplicates or similar things that I use at home. So now when I have a trip, all I have to do is worry about the clothing and other necessities that I currently am using at the moment. These lavender dryer bags are amazing. They're not made of synthetic, they're natural, they can decompose into the environment, and they smell amazing. So I like to put them into my clothing bag and also into my luggage. You could take them out, leave them in the hotel drawer, and they will smell amazing like lavender. When you're traveling and packing socks, I highly recommend for you to tuck them in. I like to tuck in about three pairs all together and it saves me space because you can lay them flat in your luggage. Aside from saving space, you can use this as a cushion around your perfume bottle. Make sure your perfume bottle is compliant with the TSA rule before packing this. As you can see, I just tucked the perfume bottle inside the sock so that way the sock can act as a cushion around it. And then I would take the socks and tuck them inside one of my pair of shoes that I will be packing along with me. This will save your perfume bottle from breaking and if it does break, then at least your feet will smell amazing. Okay, you know that one sock you usually have in the laundry? Well, here is a good way to repurpose that. Save that sock and make sure that it's not a synthetic material. Make sure that it's cotton. If you are packing a curling iron with you and you know, after using it, it's hot, but you need to pack your stuff and leave, you can place that curling iron in your sock. If the sock is synthetic, it can melt the sock, so make sure that it's a natural material. Then you can pack this into your luggage. There is no such thing as too many coats or jackets for me. I can always use the extra layer and warmth. A super helpful tip that I love to use is to carry around a foldable jacket or coat with me. You can find something like this at REI. I got mine at Uniqlo and it's so convenient because whenever it's extra chilly, I can layer this under my coat or I can just carry this with me in my carry-on or even in my handbag. I always make sure to bring a tote bag with me and even if I don't need to use it, I would just fold this and put it in the front compartment of my carry-on bag. Just in case the airline tells me that they're out of space and they need to check in my carry-on bag, I can take my tote bag out and then put everything that I really do need in my tote bag. There are so many helpful uses for a tote bag. You can use this to store your dirty laundry in or you can take this out to run errands and go shopping. You never know what will happen, especially when you're away from home. If there's no safe around and you don't want to carry all your money with you, 
You can store your money and break them up into different compartments. One way I like to store my extra cash is place it into a plastic bag and tuck that into my makeup wipes or another white bag. If you have a diaper white bag, put that in there as long as you can blend it in with other items. This is something that I love and have mentioned in my other packing video and that is packing cubes. They store all my clothing inside, everything stays organized, and my clothing stays clean. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and comment in the section below this video where you are going for the holiday season. Are you going to somewhere warm, tropical? Is it a vacation? Or are you going to visit your family? And if you are visiting your family, tell us a little something about your family. I wanna know, like, do you have a crazy uncle or a crazy aunt? Um, do you have like obnoxious uh, grandparents? Like, make sure to comment below this video. And I will see you soon. Ciao, safe travels.